Right, our first reconciliation we're going to talk about is AP to GL. We want to make sure that everything has been posted for the month. You want to make sure uh, that you run a, an aging report for the, the period that you are trying to reconcile. And then you're going to compare that report to one of the general ledger reports, which we're going to take a look at uh, here in a second. So it's, it's a pretty easy reconciliation. You're just making sure that everything is posted, and then you're comparing an aging report to a GL report. Now, I've got a screenshot in your handout on page one, at the bottom of page one, for uh, GL, the GL Entry Settings button within AP Settings. So to get to that screen, you're going to go to File, Company Settings, AP Settings. And then on this screen, you'll go to the GL Entry Settings button. And the reason I've included this here is so that you can make sure that you are looking at the correct uh, accounts when you run the general ledger. Make sure that you are looking at your AP account or your subcontract um, payable account. Uh, if if you're doing um, if you've got separated if you've separated your purchase orders from your no, your regular accounts payable. All right, so here on this window, then you are just verifying what account numbers you're, you are re reconciling accounts payable to. All right, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to run. Uh, what I recommend you run is under Reports, Cash Management, Invoice Aging with Cutoff Date. And here you'll enter in your aging date. And because I'm using the construction sample data, um, I've got to put an older date in here. Um, I would leave the aging basis as accounting date because that will match up to what is in uh, general ledger. And then as far as the retainage, if you are holding retainage back um, on your subs and you, you want to print a retainage column, uh, leave this checked. If both the retainage and the, the um, AP is going into the same AP account, you can check this box so that you're only having, you're not having to add those two columns together when you run the report. Okay, so this would only be if on your AP settings screen, on the GL entry uh, screen on page one, that both the accounts payable account and the retainage payable account are the same. Then you're gonna, you, you will want to check this box. And then I'm just going to do a print preview. Now, um, in your handout, the two reports that you're seeing are slightly different because this was an older data set. And so I'm going to go ahead here and go down to the bottom of the last page. And this is what you're comparing here, these report totals and this retainage column to your report in General Ledger. So I'm going to go ahead and run, just run a financial statement here, and I can ju just go ahead and run the balance sheet. Actually, let me verify what, what month we're in here. So I know if I need to roll back. Oh, this one's been moved ahead. So, may just have to go ahead and run this slightly different. Let me close this and let me do a condition here. We'll just run it on one company here. See if there's any money in here, stuff in here. And then over here, I'll go ahead and run the financial statement. And that's company 10. I need company. 
Activity 21. So that's way off. Or maybe not. So let me add these two together. So 5377. So I need to add my AP account, the 53,977, with the subcontracts payable. And that comes out to 339,832. And if I compare that over here, I'm off here just a bit. So I'm going to subtract 341, 570, five, oops, minus 341, 558. Five, so I'm off 1, 000, uh, 1726. So I'm out of balance for that particular company. It looks like, though, like the retainage, the 13729, is is in balance. So retainage is, is in balance, but um, my accounts payable is not. So here's where we need to troubleshoot then. And as you can see in your handout, uh, the handout was also off. It was off uh, $300. Now on the, second, the next page, page three, one of the first things that we will have you do when you're at in an out of balance situation is we will have you run under reports, we'll have you run entries, entries by account. And we'll have you run that on the new file. And the reason we're running this is to see if there is anything in the new file that hasn't been posted yet. So if we come down, let's see if there's anything for company 21. There isn't anything in here for Company 21 for accounts payable. So there, we don't have anything there to look for. The next thing we need to run is under reports. And I don't have this in your handout, but I would run entries, entries by account again but this time run it on the current file. So I want you to make a note on page three in your handout. You're going to run the entries, entries by account twice. Run it first on the new file to see if there's anything that hasn't been posted to, the, to your AP account, and then run it again on the current file. And this time you're going to add a condition to the report that application of origin is equal to GL. So either equal to GL or what might even be better is not equal to AP because the only thing that should be in there is AP. So you add that condition and then look to see if you have anything. And of course, we want to do a range here. You want to do a range on your AP account. It on both those accounts. Okay, so I've got there's nothing there that that has caused it to be out of balance. Okay, so again, two reports on one on new and one on current. The next thing that you want to do now in the, the, the example in your handout, you can see the report on the top. Uh, our AP was out of balance by $300, and there was actually $300 um, sitting in the new file that needed to be posted. Um, we also ran the report, uh, reconciliation report called AP Summary. And this is under reports, under, I'm sorry, it's in accounts payable. and it's under GL Reconciliation, and it's called AP Summary. The example of this is on the bottom of page three in your handout. I'll show you just the first screen of this. I'm not gonna actually run it. This is a crystal report, and in, depending on how big your, your data is, it will take a while for it to run. Um, you're going to put in here where it says specified transaction cutoff date. You're going to put in your 
GL accounting date that you're trying to reconcile. And then if it's not the current period, uh, then you're, and you've already closed general ledger, you need to tell it to roll back. This is kind of like the, the prompt that you have on a financial statement to roll back to a different period. So if this, if this um, master file was still back in, maybe back in March, I would, I would put a March date in here and I would roll it back to. The example at the top of page four shows you um, that it's out of balance. So it's going to list all of your AP accounts on this screen. It'll show you what the AP balance is inside AP and then what the GL balance is. And if they don't match, you'll see the, the, uh, the account highlighted in red and it will show you the difference in the difference column. You can actually double click on that and it will show you the batches that are out of balance, and then you can re you can research from there. Now, the other thing that you can run is the screenshot uh, totals by batch. It's right below that on this on the uh, on page four in your handout. This is also in GL, and it's called totals by batch here. And you can do a date range, again, from the first of the month to the end of the month. And that will give you a list of totals uh, for each batch so that you can look through to see which batches may, um, may, have not may have not balanced. And again, the screenshot for that, this is also a crystal report. So I'm not gonna, going to run it because it takes uh, too long to run. But if you look at the report at the top of page five, Again, it shows you, again, the totals per batch, debits uh, versus credits. And we can see here that we've got a credit difference on one of those um, AP accounts. Okay. So researching this could take, um, take a little bit of time, depending on you know, where you find it's out of balance at it. Usually, probably I would say, I don't know, 90% of the time, it's going to be one of two things. There's an entry in the new file that needs to be posted, or something has been entered to that AP account outside of AP, and you just need to correct that entry or post that entry, rerun your reports, and you should see that you're back in balance. The other, the other one that the other issue that I see uh, sometimes is dates. Uh, you may have gone in and tried to correct an invoice, and you put in a uh, an incorrect accounting date when you made the change. And then if you if you see that it's incorrect, and you go back and try to correct the correction, you end up maybe doubling up the mistake or reversing it out. You make the correction in and out of the wrong period. <clears throat> right. All right. So that is accounts payable.